paper artist, mostly known for my marbling, paste paper designs, and my collages. I was actually working as a weaver and had written a book about fiber art when I met somebody who had done a teensy bit of marbling as part of a bookbinding course. So I thought nothing has been written about this that's modern day. So I thought that would be a great thing to um, have as my focus for my next book. Water features a lot in my collages and I live right across from Penn's Creek. The beautiful Pennsylvania countryside really inspires me. I don't ever work from photographs, so it's all from within. My name is John Sterling. I am the owner and creator at JC Sterling Fine Furniture. I make furniture and accessories, anything from cutting boards to cabinets. My process is not sitting down at a computer and drawing it out. You'll see around here pieces of paper with a sketch on it with some rough dimensions and that's where I start. Pennsylvania Woods is uh, very inspirational. That's where the whole live edge thing comes in because that's the tree telling its own story. If it grew with uh, some sort of defect in, in, and just kept growing and growing and growing, that's all nature. You have all this beautiful surroundings in central Pennsylvania. And if you can't see it, then you'll never see it. <laughs> I'm Carrie Benedict. And I'm Rod Meyer, and together we are Willow Creek Pottery, and we make uh, functional pottery. I do most of the throwing, and ever since I started throwing, my main goal is to make a piece that is both functional and also um, appealing to the eye. I would say that we embrace simplicity and that's part of what we see around us here. Not that nature is simplistic, but it's not complicated either. When we work in our work, we're here in this building, day in and day out. When we go to State College Festival, we get to interact with thousands of people who are interested in our work and get that you know, interaction with people who are actually going to be using the object that you're making. Right. So and that's really important feedback.